Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to create highly summarized reports that fit well into the tiles of a dashboard page. In this example you can see I have sales by item, sales by customer, sales by territory and this information is not the complete story about all the customers, it's just the top five customers. So let's have a look how we can prepare a published report that fits well into one of these tiles. I've chosen sales by customer for this example. First of all, let's start up Publisher and we'll create a new published report by clicking on new. And up here we have the code and the group. I'm going to place this in the Dynamics Great Plains demo group and I'm going to give the report a code which is customer top 5 demo and the title will be customers top 5. Down here we have the edit button we'll click on edit and we come into the query builder. Summary report is the style of report that we require and the product in this case will choose Dynamics GP. Here we have the company. We'll leave it in this case as a sample company too, and we'll come into the tables. I'd like to have the report based on sales. If I wasn't sure where sales was, I could come down to the find and just type in sales and select from the list. So here's all the details I can find on sales and you can see in the list here that we have customer, customer name. If I wasn't sure where the customer name was, I could come in here and select the find button and type in customer. And here's the customer name. So I'll put that into the output section. I'll clear that find. And now I'd like the amount can see here we have a folder called sales amounts and the one I'm after is this one here. You can see that because I'm in summary report mode it knows that we should really sum the, the amounts by customer name. If I preview this I'll get a message saying that we need to provide details for the transaction numbers. This is because it's mandatory. Let's just enter that we want all transaction numbers. And that comes to the point well, what sales, for what period are we after? So I should really put in the sales order date. So I'm just going to enter in date. And yes, we have a sales date and an order date. I think the order date might be better. So let's take that up and put it up the top. I'm not sure where the data is in this particular database, so I'm just going to put the order date into the outputs because I have a demonstration version of Great Plains and you can see that the order dates are in the future. So I'm just got to prepare for that. So let's put a filter on the order date so that it always looks back two months and picks up all the sales for customers for the last two months. So we can do that by clicking on the lookup and then going back two months using the month spinner. You can see here it's going back. In my case I actually have a demonstration version so I need to go into the future to pick up some worthy data. This means that when the report's published, the dates will move forward as each day goes by. So we don't have to keep on adjusting those dates. The same can be done for periods as well. Let's preview the results now. And you can see that we have customers that are sorted into alphabetical order. What we'd like to do is put the customers with the most sales at the top of the list. So we need to specify the sort order. I'll come to the outputs now and what I'll do is I can double click 
or I can go right click options and in the output attributes I'm going to the sorting tab and I will output the amount to the sorted list and then I'll reverse the sort order so that large amounts go to the top of the list. Let's have a look at the preview now. You can see that the larger items are at the top of the list. Now what we require is just the top five customers. We can do that by going back to the query definition and going to the table and selecting options and from the top options we'll type in we want the top five rows. You can see here we now have the top five customers. Because it's highly summarized what I'd like to do next is override the format for the amount so that we drop the decimal places. Go back into the subtotal amount and this time I'll select formatting, customize and I'll say you would like zero decimal places. I'll leave these other figures alone and let's preview the report now. You can see that it's getting very close to what we require. So let's publish this report now. Uh, before we do that we'll just change this caption here. So change description and I'll say that's the amount. Good. So let's go OK now. This prompt here is saying that because it's a published report we should parameterize the filters so that they can be driven from other reports. So just answer yes to this and go apply. Let's go to our web channel and have a look at the list of published queries. In this list there should be a new report which is customers uh, top 5 demo. Let's click on that and you can see that it has prompted us to enter in the filter values before proceeding to the report. What we'd like to do is we could hide some of these filter values or if it's a dashboard not even show any of them and just submit the report by default. If we were to hide them, for example uh, the transaction number, what we could do is come back into Publisher, edit the query and right click and hide the filter. Let's refresh that page again and you can see now that the transaction number is no longer in the filter list. Let's change the colors to make it similar to what I showed you earlier with the dark background and some of the outlinings removed and the font a little bit larger. So let's focus on changing the look and the feel of this table. So we'll come back into Publisher and on the Table tab you'll notice that we have options here to say Show Title. So we could remove that. We could remove the borders around the table and borders around the columns. And I'd like the header section, so the header row, to be a dark grey and the alternating columns I'll make them a grey instead of blue and finally I can make the last row also dark grey. Let's we'll apply that and have a look at the report. Notice that the title has gone now and the table is looking a lot cleaner. We just need to change the font size on that. So I'll change that to be 12 and I think that's just what we need for the dashboard. 
what I'll do is copy this address up the top now and I'll create a new dashboard page by going to the dashboard link and going new yes I'm going to create a new one give it a code and uh, this will be a demo and I come across the, the tile tab and I'm going to give it a title of customers top five in the content URL I'll paste the URL for the report you can see that it stopped and waiting for us to submit the filter criteria before proceeding to the table what we can do to prevent this is one method is to go into publisher and say disable the prompts so I just disable that prompt and refresh that page and you can see that we no longer have prompts the other method would be to come into the URL address and replace the word report for the word table and that way the report is just submitted immediately with those filter values and for the last two months just before we finish this demo I will copy this URL address again and I'll place a new tile on the side that shows the same data but this time as a chart so let's come back in here new tile and the title will be customers top five chart paste that in here and this time where it says table replace it with the word chart and I'll just place it on the side it doesn't have enough room really to display all the content so what we'll do is go back into publisher go to the chart tab and we will say that by default we'd like columns and no legend for example let's see what that looks like still not enough room let's make it a little bit larger and we should remove that title you can see that with charts because there are there's not that much room to display a lot of detail you need to choose the type of chart carefully in this case the uh, customer names are taking up a lot of room on the chart so maybe that would have been better as a pie chart for example so let's just come back in here and change that to a, a pie chart and turn off the title and refresh the page you can see here that some of the the labels on the edge are slightly cut off let's add some padding around the chart so come in here and give them a bit of a margin 20 on each side and refresh again still not enough we can actually take off these numbers so that the labels fit in so I'll come in here and say show grid lines let's take those off oh, that was the customer name so I'll just reverse that put that back on and take that off when you expand the tiles you get a expanded view and what you can do is move from the reduced highly summarized content to a different view that shows more details about top five customers that'll be covered in a following video